Hi students, welcome to Lesson 14's video today to teach you about Lesson 14, which the title is Comparing and Contrasting Myths. So boys and girls, this is your last lesson for Unit 2. Wow, so we've talked about the Maya civilization, the Aztec civilization, and the Inca. And now we're doing some comparing and contrasting between the myths of the uh, Maya and the Aztec and the Inca and their creation myths. So yesterday in lesson 13, we talked about the Aztec and the Inca creation myths. And so today we're going to compare all three, the Maya, the Aztec, and the Inca and their creation myths. And that's what we're going to focus on on our reading today. So for reading today, we are going to identify and explain the similarities and differences between the Maya, Aztec, and Inca creation myths. So let's dive in and see what we're going to start with today. So chapter nine. So chapter nine, we talked about um, um, chapter nine, that was what the story we read yesterday that talked about or discussed the Aztec creation myths. Remember, they have their five gods. Um, do you remember naming them? Let's think about it. And then also the um, creator of all things, that was the um, Inca and their um, creation myth that they had. So... Um, also, remember that they talked about the place of the prickly pear cactus. Remember the Aztec um, myth is where they looked up. They were they were walking around for 200 years. The priest was able to look up in the sky and he saw the symbol of the um, eagle on the cactus with the snake in the mouth. And remember their God told them that once they saw that, they knew that was the location where they need to start their civilization. And with the founding um, of the Kutsko, remember they had the two gods. Um, do you remember the names? And how they had their gold stake there. And they said, this is where we're going to plant our capital. And this is where our people are going to start. Okay. So in what ways, my question is, in what ways are the creation and homeland myths similar? So which way are they similar? And how would you describe the difference between the creation myth and the homeland myth? So that's what we're going to be thinking about. Also, remember our big question for this lesson is how did the Aztec and Inca people explain the creation of their land and people? So how did they explain it? So let's see, we're going to figure that out as we go throughout our lesson today. So boys and girls, let's take a moment. I know that yesterday we read together chapter nine, but before we dive into the assignment for chapter for today for lesson 14, I want you to go back through and read chapter nine again, okay? So here's the link here. Once you click on it, it will bring you to your student reader and amplify. So I'm gonna stop the video right here and allow you to go read silently for a few minutes. Then we're gonna dive back into our next portion of our lesson. Welcome back, boys and girls. So let's continue looking at activity 14.1. Okay, so this is our assignment. So we've just read, reread chapter nine. And so now we're going to read um, these questions and answer them. So it says, part A, both the Maya creation myth, the creation of the earth and its people, and the Inca creation myth, the Varancha, Big, uh, creator of all things include multiple attempts to create people. There, there are similarities and differences between the people created and the successful attempts in each myth. Based on what you learn from both stories, write Maya in the blank if the statement relates to the Maya creation myth and write Inca in the blank if the statement relates to the Inca creation myth. So we're going to stop right here and then come back and, and answer our first questions together. 